Let's talk then about a story that will dominate the hearts and minds of so many across the city of Bradford and beyond over the next few days. All this week we are counting down to one of the biggest games in the history of Bradford City Football Club. On Sunday, the Bantams face Swansea City in the League Cup final at Wembley. We'll have full build-up and live commentary of the game here on BBC Radio Leeds. It has been a long road for City to get to the final. On the way, they secured victory over three Premiership sides. Wigan dispatched first, then the mighty Arsenal were dismissed. And most recently, in the semi-finals, Bradford did this. McHugh's there, McArdle's there. Hansen goes near, McArdle goes near as well, it goes long, Hansen's there! Oh my word! James Hansen has scored for Bradford City! They're all square at Villa Park! And they now lead by four goals to two in this semi-final! Would you believe it? Hansen with a goal! Bradford a level! Come on, it's absolutely fantastic, we've talked about it! They are vulnerable on set plays! And upstairs, the big man, he's not scored for how many games, but where we've needed him, come off the hour, come off the big man, one each. Derby with the header, back off. Come on, Tom. Ben Take, Tom's, wow, with a boy. chest pass. There, there, there it is, the final and whistle goes. <laughs> and James Hansen's second half goal means that Bradford City from League Two will play in the Capital One Cup final at Wembley. It's all a bit loud, that, isn't it, for a Monday morning, but um, the excitement is Palpable and understandable, I think. The moment that City booked themselves into the League Cup final, beating Aston Villa all this week. We're building up to that final, and we can speak on the line now to the MP for Bradford South. That is David Ward, who is a Bantams fan himself. Good morning to you, David. Good morning, Bradford East, if Brad- you don't mind. Sorry, you, that was my mistake. I you missed. Get me into trouble with uh, Jerry Sutcliffe. <laughs> yes. Um, let me ask you then, uh, David, and, and, and I, it's difficult to overstate this, I guess, but how much are you looking forward to Sunday? Oh, it's all building, isn't it? Getting very excited about it. And it's good just to see everybody taking part in this. And uh, there's an increasing number of cars with the stickers in the windows and the pennants. uh, And you just feel that this is all bubbling up and it's uh, really exciting. How important is it for Bradford City? Because we know they lost at the weekend and they're pushing for promotion. And that's clearly very important to a club like Bradford to move up the divisions. But how important is, is a huge game like this one? Well, it's more important to, to me. The you know we're now seven points off the off the playoffs and a, and a poor result again uh, the weekend. Although by all accounts, you know they played very well and it was undeserved. But uh, that's the long term as a season ticket holder. We want to see uh, the, the club really needs to be in a high division, and that's the really the most important thing. But for those who aren't regular uh, goers, um, this is lifting the whole of the the Bradford district. Yeah, it's something that brings together people in a way that many other things just cannot do, uh, and it's just wonderful to see that that excitement that's spreading across the district. That's the key, isn't it? And uh, I'll need to lay my cards on the table here. So I'm from Leeds, and therefore obviously a, a Leeds United supporter at heart. And I know that when Leeds are doing very, very well, the city just kind of buzzes and that's often talked about with one city with one club cities like Leeds is it have you noticed the same thing in Bradford have you noticed that buzz and improvement in the spirit in the city well you forgive me my dad was a Leeds United supporter as well <laughs> thank <but>. you <laughs> <laughs> but yes it is and and uh, over a long period of time as this, we've gone through the various rounds uh, it's been wonderful I'm a uh, a scarf where I wear me a city scarf wherever I go uh, during the winter period and, and it's been wonderful because for so often in the past when I wear the scarf people sort of point at it and commiserate with me but <laughs> in the uh, in the last month or two it's been really wonderful uh, for people to say oh you know they're doing really even people who don't normally support them to be just carried away on this wave and uh, it's lifted and say the spirits of the district uh, and we need it really We've, it's been a difficult time for, for Bradford for, for a long time and it's just good to have something that we can all be proud of and it's easy to get carried away it's easy to get over optimistic as well I have noticed some um, rather optimistic writers say that perhaps Bradford are the favourites on Sunday they're probably not certainly on paper do you think they can go on and make history and put themselves in the history books forever? Well, we are certainly in favour if it ever goes to penalties, wouldn't we? <laughs> but, <laughs> I think so, yeah. <laughs> but uh, in some ways we can't lose, can we? And um, we, we've done such a uh, fantastic job in getting to this stage. It's just a wonderful day out for people who go, and uh, we're just excited about the whole prospect. I've got my family going, uh, and it will be a wonderful occasion, whatever the result, to be honest, but uh, it would be the icing on the cake if we, we managed to win. 
All right, thank you for your time this morning, My David. Uh, MP for Bradford East, David Ward, uh, speaking to us ahead of the Bradford City game at the weekend.